So in this video, I will be talking about the Biophilia Tracker 4 and um, giving you a little bit of an insight into what you can do with this device in terms of scanning, analyzing and applying therapy on patients and giving you some details about what will be covered during um, training sessions if you choose to sign up for it. So first off, I'm just going to show you a little bit of the scanning um, procedure. So I've already done a bit of a scan, but just to show you how I would go about it, um, basically just selecting some of the organs and um, scanning the items that I would like. So there's a lot of things in, in here that can be kind of scary, but all of these things will be covered in great detail during the training sessions. So no worries there. Just to show you a bit, I will be showing you what the scan looks like. So about, about the items that's available, you can see here 980. That's quite an extensive amount of scan items. So you will usually see the front, the back, the cross sections of all organs. Uh, going down all the way to cellular levels as well as um, chromosomal levels and even DNA level scanning is available with this device. Right, so um, lots of things we can analyze with this um, software. And what we are looking for is basically um, disease risks and current diseases based on um, the energy frequencies that capture during the scan. So we'll talk more about it as we go. Right, so a um, bit of an insight of what a scan looks like. That's what it goes like. But uh, within minutes, we are actually able to get out a analysis, an analysis of uh, what just got scanned. So this will also be covered in greater detail during the session but uh, just to show you currently this is what it looks like Right, so at a glance, if you take a look at what just came out, so within minutes, we're able to understand um, that clearly, according to this, we can see the wall of the heart seems to be having a number of issues, some infection risks, um, same goes for some of these other areas that we have scanned. So a pretty amazing thing about the device and software is that we have three different reports here. Report one looks like this, and we have report two, as well as report three. Now, all the reports actually carry the same data in different um, various detail. So you can see report three here is the most detailed one. It tells you little bits about uh, what each of the conditions refer to. Now, it does not necessarily mean that the patient is suffering from all of these diseases. It also has identified these risks based on the energy frequencies that were picked up during the scan, right? So. If you were to look at the wall of the heart, that seemed to be having um, the most uh, issues in here. Right, so as you can see, uh, quite a number of red items here does not necessarily mean it's all occurring, but definitely at risk of occurring because of the energy level that the wall of the heart in for this case. So we want to work on metatherapy for this uh, area so that we try to heal this area. So this is what that would look like. So 
so five rounds of therapy have applied and you can see here uh, the improvement that we can expect is 70 percent improvement so if you are consistent with your treatment you can expect some good uh, improvement over time right on more about this will be covered um, during the sessions so that you can have a better insight into what each of those values mean and uh, how you can monitor them better right so the device actually also offers um, on top of metatherapy we actually have things like phytotherapy right and lithotherapy now these are things that you want to also start using because phytotherapy is plant-based therapy um, as for lithotherapy this is crystal based therapy now this can be used uh, directly on the patient um, to expect improvement so this is what that might look like so i've just done one round of that um, therapy using that particular crystal okay so in in terms of that we can expect a 52 percent strengthening all right so similar approach for phytotherapy as well okay, so just to show you phytotherapy and if you were to do a one round so here you can see it's a 51 percent strengthening um so varies from pace person to person some people will respond better to phytotherapy some to lithotherapy so we will cover more about this during the sessions as well to talk about how to go about choosing what works for each patient right um another thing that's pretty interesting is that uh, we also have in here other treatment types like homeopathy now if these uh, are familiar to if you are a homeopathic practitioner for instance you can actually um, try, start making remedies with these frequencies, right? So here we have the reprinter. This is the remedy maker. You can actually print uh, homeopathic frequencies and other frequencies into um, a water or alcohol medium so that you create a oral remedy so that the patient um, can continuously take this remedy um, to expect improvement. So what we are essentially doing is printing frequencies into that medium and giving it to the body consistently to expect uh, absorbance and therefore improvement, right? Uh, there's also a new function added, which is the physiotherapy. Now, this is very, very useful for many, many different um, diseases that we face. So if the patient is suffering from any diseases uh, that you can see in this list, you can actually apply this uh, physiotherapy that the device offers. This is not the traditional physiotherapy that we usually see. It's different uh, in the sense that we are using frequencies here and combinations of frequencies um, in order to fight certain diseases, right? So whichever disease the patient is suffering from or at risk of, uh, you can choose it from here and apply it on the patient. This too will be covered uh, in greater detail during training sessions. So another thing that we can do with this device is actually to identify certain um, deficiencies that we may be having and um, this is a rather important thing for you to identify uh, because as we know the nutrients amino acids fatty acids these things are the building blocks of the body so it does not matter how many rounds of healing therapy you give your body how consistent you are with it what you are giving your body is basically a manual an instruction manual to fix itself but if the body does not have the right building blocks um, to fix the body um, then it's not going to give you any good results in the long run so we're basically not fixing the root problem and just going at it um, at a very short term response from the body so we don't want it we want to start giving the body what it's lacking so that um, we don't have to depend on these devices or anything at all uh, for our body to get back to its healthy self all right so if you look at micronutrients here uh, you can see here in red uh, highlighted are deficiencies uh, based on the blood cells right so the blood cells are quite general so it gives us a very good insight same goes for fatty acids as well and amino acids we can see quite a number of uh, missing items here so when these things are deficient, your body is going to start developing diseases and risks certain diseases. The energy levels of our organs are going to drop and you will end up being symptomatic of different um, conditions. So this is what we don't want. We want to avoid that and try, start um, 
giving our body um, more of these lacking nutrients and amino acids and so on. So this device uh, enables you to identify what you are missing so that you can start taking exactly what you need um, and start working from there. So this is quite, um, quite interesting and important for you to know in order to use the device and it will also be covered uh, more tips and tricks on how to use this data, how you can go about planning, um, planning treatments for your patients and things like that will be covered during the training sessions as well. Now there are a lot more uh, tiny functions that are available here and there that will be discussed as well. So for instance, what is retesting, right? Testing, uh, how, how do I go about testing something that I have, for instance, um, if I have vitamin C pills or if I have some sort of drug that I'm taking and I want to test whether it has a good effect on me or whether it's actually pulling my energy levels down. This can be done as well, which will be covered um, during the sessions as well. And we test internal, which allows you to um, test some of the frequencies that are available in this device itself. Now, this device actually has 5,364 different atalons um, for analysis. That's a lot, a lot, way too much actually um, for us to go through in um, one go. So in the sessions, you can explore these and ask your trainer a little bit about things you don't understand and get a better insight into um, the depths that this device actually goes to. Um, but other than that, things like reading this graph, how do I make sense of this graph? How do I make sense of um, these values here in terms of optimum dispersion, how do we um, understand um, pathology, how do we go about understanding the extent of development, how chronic is this condition are we talking about, and things like that will also be covered during the training, right? So lots of things to learn and um, it would be beneficial if you take up the training for um, this device especially it will be one-on-one um, -on -one type training so it will be catered to you and you can ask your questions and uh, even bring up case studies so that you can do a more um, field like field type practice uh, during your session so it's very catered to you and uh, i would definitely recommend taking up the training so if you have any questions, you can put them down below and the information and the details you may need to sign up for the training will be down there as well. So I will see you during the training.